Hey guys, this is Nerf Player, and I'm back. Sorry for the sort of gap in videos. Uh, last five day, last week, been sort of recovering from the few days I watched the live International 2013 Dota 2. Uh, reason being, oh, cotton, is because it's American. The um, it was so I had to stay up until about 6 a.m. to watch it live. Uh, so yeah, so I just had no energy to make videos essentially. Um, but that's not the only reason. I basically have been trying to improve in Dota 2. Been practicing, etc, etc, and I'm not quite ready to show you guys, sorry about that. Um, so I'm gonna, there's not gonna be many Dota 2 videos, there's not gonna be that many videos. I'm gonna slow it down a bit, probably two, two or three a week. Um, but hey. I'm going to start a new sort of series on Feed the Beast. This is the Direwolf 20 version 1.5.21. If you don't know what Feed the Beast is and you play Minecraft, where have you been? It is a mod pack which contains a variety of mods. A variety, I say. And it is very well done. Um, there's many uh, litera alliterations. There's the Direwolf 20 one. The unhinged one and the ultimate one now have been updated to 1.5.2. Um, unhinged. Wait a minute. That's still quite. Uh. Um, unhinged is basically headed by the guy who did Greg Mod. Greg Tech Mod. Very grindy. I wouldn't recommend it for people who just want to enjoy Minecraft. It's for people who just want to spend a lot of time in it. No offense to the Matt mod creator. It's just the fact that his mod does overwrite a lot of recipes to the point where for basic machines you need diamonds. And I think that's just silly. Um, Dive 20 is very comfortable. Very easy to use. I mean there's complex mods in it like um, Applied Lin uh, Energetics. And log, log, uh, and logistics pipes, but all the early stuff is quite easy to grasp. So you can very easily make yourself a sorting system and everything like that. Um, and ultimate basically has the hugest amount of mods that don't sort of conflict with each other to a huge degree. Now, for people who have played Feed the Beast and are still on 1.4.7, the changes that um. 1.5.2 does is as follows the major ones. Major biggest one, which I'm sure some of you will be a bit sad of, is the. Oh, bugger, does it go. Oh. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, so it goes from seed to cotton. I've been thinking it's the other way around. Okay, so I'll just leave them. Um, brilliant. We'll fi that actually happens in real life as well. Um, back to the biggest change, no Red Power 2. Red Power 2, for people who don't know, the mod creator, there's been, there's been no word from her. Um, there's been no say of whether she's going to actually update the mod, whether she's still with it, or anything like that. So, sadly, Direwolf20 had to sort of leave it out. But what he's done to do is he's gotten a few mods that um, cover all the bases. Like, um... Because I believe Red Power 2 added flax. I'm not sure about that. Do not quote me on that. But, say it, and this is cotton. And I've just learned how to use it. Uh, cotton basically replaces flax. But instead of it being just dropping string, it drops cotton, as the plant does. And that can be converted into string or wool. Either one. Another thing it adds is barley. Barley is basically a better wheat. Uh, it says it's a wild variety of wheat. It is better. It can, instead of just gathering three and putting them into that, what you can do to be more efficient is you can take one. I'll take one now. Uh, in inventory tricks is at a bit of a down slope, but it, you can't do the mouse wheel thing anymore. I don't know if that's a bug or something. You can change it into flour. Now all you need to do after that is then put it into a furnace, can be any furnace, can be electric, can be normal, anything like that, and it will cook bread. So it's very efficient, one body for bread, essentially, with power. Um, 
But yeah, without Red Power 2, there's no new Mac tubes, no filters, so your sorting system would have to rely on Buildcraft 3, which I think most people can say isn't brilliant because there's overspill. It's not a very intelligent pipe system. However, logistic pipes to your rescue. If you watch the videos on the forums on them, I won't, I'm not going to put all the links in these mods. Just look up the um, new mods you get with uh, Direwolf 20 and the, there'll be links to them. Basically, it improves the Buildcraft 3 system. You basically put um, specialised pipes in specific areas, like underneath chair inventories or in the machines, and they control the entire network. They're powered, but they can be powered to by a little little power conduit T thing, and it travels throughout the um, system network. And what's brilliant is that it can link up with um, applied energetics. If you and and then, Oh, I can't pronounce it. If you don't know what it is, basically it's the premier of um, storage systems. It's basically computer based. You have a sort of um, thing where you put uh, drives in. can't remember what it's called because I haven't actually engaged with it. I've been using the barrels from factorization which aren't brilliant. Um, and each drive can contain a barrel's worth which is 64 of 64 of one item or one stack of every L of 64 different items. So it's very robust and very, and you can have about 10 drives, so there's a lot you can store in them. So yeah, it's, I think it's better without Red Power 2, because Blue Tricity was a ball to try and sort out, as well as MJ and EU. Simplifies it down. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason why you've caught, why I'm starting it in the middle of, after I've just constructed a house and got basic machines, is because... Well, beforehand, I basically just mined loads of stuff. I've got uh, some resources in there. I've got iron there, and I've got loads of pyro stuff. So yeah, it's basically just gathering resources to build up. Uh, how do you like this quarry stone? I quite like it. It's sort of like marble, but it's quarry stone. <laughs> um, glass roofs. Hell yeah. So yeah, I thought I'd start it off pretty positive. I'm not going to do every uh, every episode you you see me continue right off the bat. Nope. I will be having gap, as in I will be doing stuff behind the scenes so you don't get bored out your mind of me mining the same stuff five times in a row. Nope. You, I will give you updates on the sort of big stuff. So like, uh, my goal at the moment is to move this into here, get, I've got I'll show you my pad soon. There's a normal generator which uses coal, if you don't know. Rubber trees, go to saw on those leaves because it's a screw. And solar panels. So I just want three more. The reason why I want three more is that it will produce six EU per tick. Now, for all you F uh, Feed the Beast uh, pros will know, now electrical engines use six EU per tick. So I want to get a minimum of six just so then I can use an electrical engine for my pulverizer instead of a stone engine because it's a waste of coal um, and then after that I want to go into the nether and any FTB, FTB pro will tell you nether is brilliant because you get infinite lava and infinite lava means you can basically allow it to be your power source I don't understand why people go nuclear really I guess it's sort of a feat but yeah um, I will be planning to build a basement, possibly starting here, but probably make a back room and all that. And that will contain a huge tank. I still haven't checked up if this contains sidecraft. Actually, easy way to find out. Does it contain sidechrome? It doesn't. Oh, it must not have been updated in time. Oh, that's a bit of a bikes. Oh damn. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm a bit peeved by that, basically Zycraft was a brilliant little mod, it had Zychromium into it, and the tanks they did in Zycraft in was brilliant. You could basically build it out of any material, all you'd need is a valve block, and uh, two valve blocks basically, one for getting stuff in and one for getting stuff out. You didn't even need that, you just need one to make a sort of multi uh, multi block system. N whereas with Railcraft 3 tanks, you have to actually build proper tank blocks, which are very expensive and take a long time to make, etc. etc. 
So Zocraft was, wasn't a cheat as such, it was just more sort of user friendly. You could use wood, you could use stone, you could use any material to make the tank out of. So it was very useful and you can make it um, slightly bigger than Railcraft so you can make it hoot. So yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in that. But hey, uh, learn to adapt. And if Zycroft comes up with an update, I'm going to put it into this mod anyways. Okay, now I know how to how cotton works. Brilliant. So basically, okay. So yeah, I will update this video, this series again when I've got all these, um, all my machines in here. When I've got the pounds and I'm about to go mine some obsidian for the Nether pool, or I might just sort of um, update you when I've built the Nether pool and I'm about to dive in. Uh, I've explained barley, haven't I? Yep. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the texture pack is Spax BD Craft. Very good. Very cut. Very. I don't know. Just I really like it. Um, these are new stuff in the Dire Wolf 20, unless I'm mistaken. If I am, please tell me. These are berry bushes. Just give you berries, and they grow bushes on top of themselves when they're fully grown. I have no idea when it will stop. I'm hoping free because that looks perfect. If it goes up super high, it looks silly. But yeah, I've got blueberry and raspberry so far. And there's another one to make the fruit medley sort of stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. But main aspect you gotta be aware of in this update is the loss of Psycraft apparently, and Red Power Two. Now a lot of you. Um, Billcraft 3 users will be wondering what's the big deal about Red Power 2. You got Billcraft. New Mac pipe, new Mac tubes, and filters and that were smarter than Billcraft 3. Basically, they wouldn't eject, they wouldn't send a item down unless there was space for it. And if it w if it got there and there was no more space left, it would come back to the filter. It wouldn't overspill like Billcraft 3 pipes do which I don't understand why he made them like that it just seems sort of like oh so I can't really automate my system because it would just keep overspilling them yeah okay okay I've got cotton sorted out now brilliant um so yeah that's when I'll update it guys hope you enjoy this new series I will get back to Dota 2 do not worry I'm just practicing so then my ratio of wins to fails will be slightly higher than 50-50 at the moment. Seriously, it's 50-50 and I'm kind of embarrassed about that. I just got inspired by the internationals and I was like, Jesus, if I can make plays like that. But yeah, um, and if you want to see the outside of my house, it's very rustic, very, yeah, I like wood as a build material, it's so nice. Um, I make clear deviation, divers, uh, divisions, there we go, there's the word divisions of what each um, place does. So in this is basically my living area. Once I move these parts I'd have basically food generation there and all my inventories there. Um, this will be the sort of workplace. I might convert some of it into sorting places because eventually I want to make a huge automated system so that because um, I'll have an end of chest coming from a quarry Quarry will pump stuff in. It will automatically go to like the pulverizer if it needs to be go if it's an ore that needs to be pulverized, or into and then or into the furnace. So then it gets smelted and then it goes into big sorting machines. So yeah, I'm gonna clean these out. And I'm gonna chop this down. I tend to keep these at four blocks high just because. So a lot easier than Mads. Also you can convert the um wood blocks into rubber anyway, so it's not really like it as long as they don't have um a nat dot on them which allows you to get rubber off out of it, it's perfectly fine, you get rubber anyways from it. Almost split out before night. Brilliant. So yeah, uh, this should be the last night you see guys, and I will end the video when it gets some morning. So yeah, um, hope you enjoy the series guys.